a decorated veteran and University of California, Davis staffer committed suicide after he was suspended following an investigation into a co-worker's weekend retreat. A lawyer for former military call, Christopher De Los Santos alleges that the school discriminated against the Air Force veteran when it placed him on leave three months into the job, driving the husband and father to kill himself. Witnesses described the October 2105 retreat as booze-driven and filled with wholly inappropriate behavior, leading the university to launch an investigation into the alleged misconduct. Santos was notified by email the following day that he was being placed on leave. Hours later, he took his own life. The Santos family attorney Annabelle Roberts said university administrators violated federal and state discrimination laws by treating Santos differently because he was a veteran. They were concerned that he would show up with a gun and that he would have to be escorted off campus by security, and he said they made it clear that that was because he had a military background, Roberts said. For them to have a knee-herc reaction because an administrator in the Air Force might somehow be violent because he's been in the military, I mean that's blatant discrimination. U.S. Air Force Roberts said Santos had served 23 years on active military duty and had a chest of medals. I believe in his mind, and so does our expert, that he was immediately imagining what would happen to him in the Air Force. Campus officials defended the investigation and the university's subsequent action. After the university received allegations of potential UAL harassment during an overnight staff retreat, he was promptly placed on paid administrative leave so a thorough investigation could occur. The statement insisted that only those employees who are involved in improper conduct face disciplinary action. Roberts maintains that her client would not have committed suicide if the university had protected Santos' rights as a veteran and an employee.